Welcome to a little bit of fun reassembling a full Eurolock. You might recognize this lock from my previous video. It's the Elka that I picked and got it and here you see it fully reassembled. I was thinking maybe you want to see how I did it. So first to show you how I reassembled the lock we need to disassemble it to take it apart and spread all the parts on the desk. So first the clips come off. Here they are. And then I will just pull out the plugs, turn it just a bit so that the drivers won't get caught. And here is one plug out. It's a bit tricky here with the cam. And here is another plug out. Okay, all the springs come out. Okay, so here is the mess complete. We have the housing, we have the plugs, we have the two connection elements that go at the end of the plug, we have the two clips, we have the cam, we have springs and pins. Alright, let's sort them first. Okay, first thing to do is to reassemble the plug with the key pins in the right position. Okay, both plugs are reassembled. Now it's time to put in the springs and the driver pins. Therefore I use my plug follower, push it in on one side and reassemble the other side. Okay, that was the last pin from this side. Now I flip it over and reassemble the other side. So, both sides of the Eurolock are reassembled with pins and uh, springs. Okay, I now want to put in one of the plugs. The key pins are all aligned correctly or positioned correctly. Looks alright. I will push in this connection element and when I push it in it is flush with the plug so I can push this close to the uh, to the plug follower and when I push it in I make sure that there is a solid piece of the plug um, at the place where the driver pins are so that the driver pins won't fall in a in a gap so zoom in okay here we go one side is reassembled. Now comes the tricky part. I need to place the cam in between. Therefore I pull out the plug follower a little bit and push the plug also a little bit inside. So there's just enough room for the cam to go inside. Now I push back the plug and turn the cam. You can see it has already engaged. Now I can turn the, um, the plug so that it won't come out by its own. I just use the 
key to turn the plug. Alright, so this will not come out again by its own. What I have to do now is to reassemble this side with the uh, remaining plug and therefore I turn my follower so that this slot here is aligned with the driver pins and then my pinning shoe comes into play. Looks like this. And it slides in. Over the driver pins, now I can pull out the follower. You can see how it is nicely held down by the needle. Alright, so now I take my plug, put in the connection piece. Just make sure one more time that all the drivers are aligned correctly. And yes, they are. Okay, now I can carefully push in the plug. Oops, you can see there's a little slot here at the bottom that allows me to go over the needle of the pinning shoe. All right, it's in. So I can now remove the pinning shoe and again I turn the plug, I hold it still so that it doesn't come out and it's done. So both sides are reassembled with the plugs and the cam is working. What is left to do is to put in the clips. These are spring clips so it's very easy. Just need to knock on them. One is in and the other one should be easy as well. Okay, so here we go. Lock is fully reassembled and hopefully functioning. Works and works as well. So that was a very easy Euro cylinder to reassemble. And that's because, first of all, it's short. The longer it gets, the more difficult it becomes. Also, these connection elements look different on different models of Euro cylinders. Some of them are more tricky to uh, put back together. And yeah, also, the uh, driver pins were quite long. So it was easy to put them uh, in the in the chambers. Yeah, all in all, this was just an example of how to reassemble a Eurolock with um, a plug follower that has a slot in it and a pinning shoe. There are also other designs of pinning shoes. I can show you another one. Looks like this. Um, the disadvantage on this is that it has a, a certain height and some of these keyways are too tight so that this part of the pinning shoe will not easily uh, slide in. So therefore uh, a pinning shoe like this with just a needle is perfect. Alright, I hope you found this interesting and um, I hope it helps you if you want to reassemble your 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 luck <laughs> in any case uh, thanks for watching and until we meet again cheers and bye bye